On this week's episode of Top Row Talk, we talk about our predictions for Hell in a Cell, my favorite color, and our awesome new fantasy bookings that we want you guys to partake in. Fantasy bookings. <laughs> Welcome everybody to a new episode of Double Axe Handles Top wow. Row Talks. <laughs> Son, I need, I, I want to sound excited. That was great. Alright, good. New episode of Top Row Talk. Yeah. I'm King Kong Chris. Danny, Cutthroat Falzo. And we're here to talk about the, the upcoming uh, WWE cancer. pay-per-view. Upcoming breast cancer. Upcoming uh, no. WWE pay-per-view, Hell of a Cell. Yeah. Oh yeah. Second one in October. Twofer. One. Twofer. Is a fourfer. Orfer. One. Oh, Two yeah, that's that. <laughs> um, Pretty exciting stuff. Yeah. We're getting D Barbers and Randy on like episode five. Who knows, whatever. Um, so it's pretty good stuff. Once again, guys, share this if you like it. Yes, um, share it if you don't like it. If somebody will like yeah, it. Yeah, just, just share it. How about that? Um, go buy our CD on iTunes. It's good stuff. Amazon. Amazon, all that, all, everywhere you can get stuff, right? Apparently. Yeah, go to our website, toxhandle.com. Oh, yeah. Click on media and you'll see all the. Places all you can buy it, from. and check it out. And or you can it listen out. to it on SoundCloud. Word, and then buy it. We're good people. We are good people. We Thanks. You're not too shabby yourself. Thanks, bro. So anyway, <laughs> how was this month's uh, or whatever the Raws and SmackDown? So stupendous. <laughs> it was good stuff. They were great. It was good stuff. Uh, Talk with a lot of people, and they they like how they are referencing the Attitude Era. There's a lot more. A lot more forwardness mm. than in the past PG era. And why do you think that is? Because Triple H is born in charge. Mm. He knows what's best for business. <laughs> That's true. Um, so yeah, let's get right down to it. Let's give our predictions. Um, nitty gritty. Last time for um, Battleground, right? Yeah. We were like, I don't even know. Not that good. I think we got like three wrong. Yeah. And the rest were right. So much so that I just stopped caring. Yeah, it was pretty bad last one, but this one's it's a game changer. This is the one. This one is a game this changer. This is the Hundo one. Hundo percent. Hundo percent. Yep, we're doing it. Yep. All right, so let's get into it. Hell in a Cell kickoff. Yep. All right? Yep. Curtis Axel, yep. the Intercontinental Champion, versus Big yep. E Langston. Yep. For the title. Yep. Let's say at the same time. You ready? Yep. One, two, three. Curtis, Curtis Axel. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something. <laughs> Why? I don't know, just to be Look, talking about it. Big E is awesome. Yeah, he is, he is. But he's not ready yet. Look, they may give it to him. Looks weird, too. How it looks? I do. All right. I care about how my title looks like on somebody. I think it'll, it'll suit him. I wish his face was bigger. This looks like when you create a character, someone went zoop on his face. I wonder if he's ever heard that. <laughs> I hope he doesn't because he's going to be Yeah, I hope he does. <laughs> hope this isn't the first time he hears it. So, yes, yeah, so Curtis Axel's winning. Yes. That's that. Yeah. It's a wrap. Yeah. Next match. Well, yeah. Okay. All right, so next one. <laughs> um, Goldust and Cody Rhodes. Versus the Shield, versus the Usos. Yeah. <laughs> For the tag team titles. Yeah. Whoa, triple threat tag team. I love the fact that tag teams are getting so much recognition this month. Yeah. Yeah. Even on Monday there were well there were two tag team matches, but the other match was Santino versus I don't remember who. Yeah, whatever. But there Tom were still Lee's tag teams. A lot like, of tag teams. The tag teams were at least present, so like their partner. Oh yeah. So it was really cool. And just one of the past Raws was the main event was a, uh, was a tag team. Yeah, match. past two weeks. Well, for, last week was a contract sign, but still, that's not the main event. But that's bananas, man. Like, if you said that a year ago to me, I'm like, stop lying. You they don't care about the tag teams. No, because they didn't. Run. They do now. The gold dust is running a month. It's now. crazy. They never cared about the tag team division or the divas division, and now they care about both. Or the what? And they don't care about the world heavyweight <laughs> <laughs> so who's winning this match, son? You say. Goldust and Cody. That's right. The Rose Dynasty's winning. They better. I agree with you, my friend. I want Goldust so to hot stay right as long so as we can. Right so hot right now. Yeah. Goldust, I want Goldust to stay forever. That'd be nice. But they'll probably get rid of him again. Because they don't like him. Well, he'll be like, he's, I don't I don't want to know how limited his, his contract is. What if he's like got RBD status and he's only there for like another two months? 
I don't want that. If you're a champion of something, you can't be on limited status. Yeah, <laughs> they gave like. gold. That's the championship. They didn't give RVD unless nothing. You're the, unless you're the rock, apparently. Yeah. So don't, anyway. don't get me started. I'm sorry. Don't get don't me, get me don't started. Don't get me started. All right. So <laughs> AJ Lee. Yeah. Brie Bella. Yeah. For the Divas Championship. This is you a, said this, this one's crazy. I will say this one. I have no problem saying this one. Go ahead. May I? Go. I've been telling you. All right, I'm gonna go. Go ahead and say it. AJ Lee's gonna win this one. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is crazy. I'm really liking Brie Bella a lot. I don't know. Like the is. way she's wrestling. Everything. The whole shebang. All right. You know what I'm not liking? Oh God. How she's not eating. <laughs> Cause now she is visibly skinnier. She's actually trying to look good for D Bright. Eat a hammer. Look what happened. See, she's not eating, and now she's getting you know recognition. And now that she's... says terrible things about the WWE Corporation. <laughs> I'm not supporting any of this. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, I mean, eat a burger. She seems really awesome. She was in this awesome skin with Jimmy Kimmel. You see that? No, but I oh God, so saw funny. it. I saw like Brie Bella. There's something with Jimmy yeah. Kimmel. I was like, I want to watch that. So fun. Oh, work. Go watch. <laughs> Go watch it. It's so, But AJ Lee's gonna win this one. Yes, I would love her to. Yes. No, not the same wrong though. No. Uh, None whatsoever. And then the next one. Yeah. I'm tired of this already. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold oh, on. Wait, wait. Let's backtrack. Let's backtrack. Because well, there are rumors of a match. But if they were to uh -oh. cut a match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta we got leave the championship matches for last. You right. Oh no, the Devils are winning! Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna turn that off. Alright. So, no what were we talking about? Oh, the, the match that may be given but may not be given is Los Matadors. See, we can see into the future. The real Americans. Do you we, think. Who do you. Oh, you said the last one. Ask me who I think is going to win this one. going to win this one, son. Los Smith. Yes, I agree. They're too hot right now. Well, so in other people's eyes. I don't well, really yeah. care about it. Well, they're not bad. They're great wrestlers. The gimmick is weird. Yeah. But these two feuding, perfect. Because obviously, Los Matadores isn't even English. <laughs> so if anyone's going to make fun of them, it's going to be the real American. It's true. So I would like to see a feud come out of this to mm -hmm. further push the tag team division. See more anger from uh, Zeb Coulter. Wish I had a stash, I could do that. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of stashes, I may just shave this beard and leave the mustache for November. What? For November, the mustache for November. Okay. okay. I'm just saying, we brought it up, we might as well talk well, about it. Well, that's on camera, so now you have to do nah. it. Oh, man. <laughs> don't, 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 uh. I can't. Vagina out. That's a, is that because of this? <gasps> Son. Son, this is breast cancer. I know. I like boobs. All right. All right. Son, buy one of these shirts. I will eventually. Rise above cancer. Support, support cancer. Well, don't support cancer. I don't want to support cancer. People like boo cancer. You know. Mm -hmm. yeah, so like, anyway, I like this shirt. So let, lost what my favorite colors. colors? What? Red. <laughs> Not. It's, it's close, but <laughs> I mean, it's some red right there. Yeah, it's a, like like a magenta. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway. So lost, lost matadors. Is what it is. We got way off topic on that one. Sorry. So the next match is. Um, I'm tired of this already. This is Sage gonna win. I thought it was overlap last month, but I guess it's not. CM Punk versus Ryback and Paul Heyman in a Hell in a Cell. Yep. Your turn. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we're going to say, uh, oh yeah, we know. Come on, this is, I'm sorry, I forgot. Yeah. CM Punk's going to win this one. Yeah, he has to. I, I just get it over with Well, man. look. Done. I'm, I've been done with this. I can't see how, well, I don't see how CM Punk can win in the Hell in a Cell with Ryback and them, mm -hmm. but they can't make him lose. So, but if they do make him lose, he's gonna tag team with Big E Langston. Oh yeah. And they're gonna do that for a Survivor Series. So sorry that I may have just ruined their own prediction because Ryback's probably gonna win now. But if Ryback wins, that's probably where they're headed, a tag team match. With him and Big E against CM Punk, uh, what? Ryback and Curtis. Whatever, I'm just done with this whole story. I mean, the or that'll just be Monday night. The best thing about this whole thing is Paul Heyman and his awesome promos. Yes. Like the last one on Raw. Where he was going out of control and he just calmed down for the last like, Yeah, he was channeling so his good. inner ultimate warrior. It was so good. It was great. And I'm just done with Ryback. I'm done with all of it. Yep. I mean, CM Punk's a phenomenal wrestler. It's, it's I even really, feel like CM Punk's done with it. Because he, he, he even said, like, I feel like even his promo, he seemed tired of this. this uh, 
skewed. Yeah. So anyway, so same punishment now. Yeah. You know what sucks most about this uh, pay per view? Our truths on the poster. He's not even got a match. <laughs> he probably doesn't care. I mean, he did that awesome QVC promo. Yeah, that was very so much. Cool. I hope they do that again. That should be his running gag. No. That should no be all he should do. No wrestle no more. Just that. no that's wrestle fine. no more. No wrestle no more. <laughs> and then um. And that's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Ugh. Yikes. Um. I'm gonna miss this. Movie. Not sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry, you. sorry, sorry, you're right. Um, so yeah, so I don't know if this will be the next match, but I hope it's not. Randy Orton versus Daniel Bryan with special guest referee Shawn Michaels for the WWE Championship. We're saying Daniel Bryan's win. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> My happy face. I hate, I hate that face. <laughs> That's, you never saw that face. You just seen it right now. That's the worst face. Unbelievable. Dude, I'll try and not do. I can't. I don't even know what I did. You're like. <laughs> Is that the one? No. Cur curve more. Curve more this way. No, this way. Just no. So Sarah Bryan's with us. With the help of Shawn Michaels. The help of Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels is gonna help him out. I don't even want Shawn Michaels help out. I want a clean win. No, you're right. I mean, I mean, no. What? I want that as well. I mean, you're right in that I want that. Okay. Yeah. You know what really sucked? What? HBK turning on and become part of the corporation. I, that's probably what's going to happen. Because you said it. Why can't we say first be the thing that happened? Because we're never right. You're right. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're saying D Bryan's going to win. Somehow, some way, someone's going to interfere. Shawn Michaels going to be like, nah, chill with that. D Bryan wins. Yeah. But we're still saying D-Bride. Yes. D-Bride. Done. Finished. Put it in the book. Can't wait for that match. Yep. And then... <laughs> <laughs>
So anyway, so that's that. You can high five yourself. I felt great actually. You did it? Yeah. All right. Can I just like high five <laughs> the Lord? It's in the So that's that, guys. That's uh, that's the pre that's our prediction for Hell in Cell. Yeah. Do you have any fantasy bookings? I don't. <laughs> but we would like to introduce is fantasy bookings. <laughs> but like yeah, ridiculous. And like add a whole bunch of reverb there, yeah. and it gets really big. <laughs> um, yeah, so we like to sometimes yeah. do what we call Just go fantasy with, bookings. But like um, the definition of fantasy. Yeah, things that will never happen. I mean, obviously, try not to include dead people. Yeah. Because that's just a little rough. That's me. But let's get to... What's if the apocalypse happened? Yeah. <laughs> our, our very... Our good friend, Lou T-Bone, uh, who also does all the awesome guitar solos on the album and our songs, whatever. Ah, uh, licks. All right, Sorry. here we go. <laughs> here we go, folks. This Can't is wait for this. the fantasy booking <laughs> for the main oh, event of the cell. Lou T Bone Delia. Drop my phone. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. The Hell in the Cell main event. Our fantasy booking. Let's yep. do it. D Bry is beating or is pretty much the entire time. Oh yeah. And then the scoop slam starts, <sighs> followed by the RKO. Everybody thinks it's over when. HBK hits Orin with the sweet chin music. We said that's gonna happen. Yeah. We said it's gonna help. Sad. Yeah. So, so far, so good. So, so Orin is oh, down. Oh my right? god. HBK drags D Brian the Oh my god. Right as Brian is about to get the pin, it's time to play the game. Triple H. <laughs> Triple H comes out and gets into it this with so HBK. Pissed. So pissed with he the best can't thing. believe what's happening. The crowd is losing their minds. It's gonna happen. Lights out. If you smell! <laughs> the crowd goes nuts, but no rock. Nope. It's just CM Punk stealing someone else's gift <laughs> again. <laughs> Chaos had now broken out in the ring. D Bry. D Bry. D Bry. D Bry. D Bry versus Orin versus Punk. Triple H versus oh HBK. Chaos. Just when you think it can't get any more crazier, glass breaks. <laughs> That's right. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Bust through the cell and stunners everyone. Everybody. Literally everyone. <laughs> everyone's, everyone's dead. He cracks over some celebratory beers, <laughs> goes to the corner, and then Undertaker rips through the ring. <laughs> Tombstone Stone Cold points to the WrestleMania <laughs> sign. That sets up Stone Cold and Undertaker at WrestleMania 30. The WWE logo comes up and the crowd passes out from all the excitement. <laughs> Ambulance go. Ambulance. So and that's our Facebook. That that's what's our gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Yeah. Thanks, Lou T Bone Delia, for that. What we want from you guys is send us your send us your fantasy your fantasy book. Absolutely bananas. It's gotta be ridiculous. And we will retweet the post best ones. every no. We're gonna oh, post everyone. all of them. Yeah. Hell we'll post yeah. all of them. And then whichever ones you guys like. Well, how about our favorite one? We'll say it. We'll read it. Out. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There we go. High five, city. High five. So that's what we're gonna do. That's that. So nice. send us your fantasy bookings, and we will retweet every single one. That's right. And read all favorite. Word. And that's Just that. leave the dead people alone. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Like we're afraid from the bad language. No yeah, no let's keep that. it PG here, folks. I mean, the story doesn't have to be PG. Just no, well, I mean... Uh, don't give me all F-words. Yeah, because we're just not going to read them. Yeah. So I mean, anyway. We'll, whatever. we'll read them. We'll yeah, probably won't post them. Yeah. So that's that, guys. That's Top Room Talk. As usual, we love you so much. Continue talking to us, continue sharing our stories. Um, share this video, buy our album, and share this music. It's good stuff. Something special is happening this weekend. Stay tuned for that. Um, think about that. That is it. That's it. That is what they call one for the boss. Yes. So, guys, until next time, say bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Yeah.